What is up you guys? <laughs> it's just your girl Ken and today you're seeing me all natural in <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this but my brand new New York apartment. I will sit down and explain the whole thing later but we're moving in today. I'm working with my roommate Maddie to get things situated but since it's just me right now I'm gonna give you a little tour so you can see what it looks like. It might my tongue's kind of purple. I just had my first ever acai bowl and honestly, it was great, but I feel like my mouth is purple. Here's the grand tour. Clearly, we're just getting started and so much more, and I will definitely be giving you all an updated, like fully moved in, decorated room, house, apartment tour. Um, and I'll explain like why I came to this decision. But this is first day, first stop. We're excited, we're happy, and I can't wait to show you all the rest. All right, this is the more informative part of the video. I know we don't have a huge following, but I'm sure one day, regardless of how YouTube goes, I will love to look back and look at the process and kind of my timeline of how this happened. Basically, you just saw my brand new apartment. I mentioned I'm living with a roommate. She's my friend Maddie. She's the best. If you've been following or you know me, you're like, why do you have an apartment? You've always been an RA. You've always lived in the dorms. So here's kind of the story of how all this happened and why I decided to get an apartment. Back in March, the new school sent all of its students home and required everyone to like leave the dorms unless you had extenuating circumstances. This included RAs, but I think the silver lining is that I got to spend the summer with my family, which I never thought I would do again. You know, everything happens for a reason and I'm truly so thankful to be able to spend summer there. Also to be with my friends. We're getting to the age where we're not always gonna be able to see each other, not always gonna be an hour, two hours away. It's gonna become more like a plane ride and seeing each other once a year, you know? So that's tough, but I gotta see all my wonderful people back home. They know who they are and they know I love them so, so much. I was supposed to be anywhere but Wellington, North Carolina this summer. I had a potential opportunity to go to Seattle, an opportunity to go to Denmark, and obviously the opportunity to stay in New York. So many things were on the table and I was so excited for what that was going to look like with internships, jobs, but unfortunately with COVID that was not able to happen. Um, so I spent the summer at home. I worked for my dad, I did construction, I did painting. You guys saw that in the last video if you watched it. But most importantly, I got to spend life by the water. My family bought jet skis and I can't tell you like how much that changed my life just wanting to like grow up one day and live on or so close to the water, have a boat, be on the intercoastal. And it doesn't have to be Wilmington, but I love the beach and it's forever a part of my heart. And I honestly, even though I love Manhattan, I cannot wait to move back to the beach one day. Parsons and the new school as a whole did announce that all of our classes for the fall semester will be fully online. They feel like this is best because of COVID and all those regulations. So that set in and I was like, well now my next question was, was I going to be able to return to campus? Weeks kind of passed, we finally heard. We got, I don't want to call it a tragic email, but it wasn't fun. Basically, the email said that they are eliminating the role of RAs this upcoming school year. So that null and voided our contracts that we had. They don't matter, they were scrapped but they were offering a new position called a CRA. You're doing very similar responsibilities as to an RA, um, but instead of one building, you could be responsible for up to four. You had to do other duties in the contract that pertain to security. You had to do a lot more mental check-ins and all of this was gonna be done through Zoom and there was gonna be one resident per room. But part of the contract was if COVID were to respike here in the fall or New York state law were to establish 
um, that universities can't continue to gather in that large of a setting, that you as the RA would have to leave your space within 24 to 48 hours, which some people live close, it's not that hard for them to go home, but being from a different state, hours away, and having your belongings with you, it's very tough to pick up and leave. And when I was told this, I hadn't even got my stuff back from March, which it's just stuff, it's not that important, but in the whole grand scheme of things, I was like, how are you gonna take what I don't even have back? And that's tough on anyone. I think college kids across the country really dealt with a different environment in March and finishing out the semester at home. Everyone's home life is different and we recognize that. So the compensation also wasn't the same since the cafeteria was closed. We weren't getting a meal plan, which is a huge part of it to have most of my food paid for. There was also a move out date and the move out date was December. So not only I could potentially lose the housing at any point, as of now, I would have to move out in December and come home. And being that I'm from North Carolina, a highly like affected state right now, I would have to quarantine for two weeks upon arrival. And so timeline wise, for what that would look like for me is I would come get my belongings the last weekend in July, come back up, pay at my own expense to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks in New York around the first week of August, then move in, do RA training the, the second two weeks of August, school starts, and then potentially move out anytime between August, September, October, November, December, if COVID gets bad, but if not, move out December 22nd. Basically with all that being said, as a senior, doing my thesis, doing my capstone, and wanting to find a job after college, I did not feel like it was the safest or smartest decision to do that. I'm paying a lot of money to go to school and even though the RA job helped me with money, I don't want the money I'm paying for my education to be neglected because of the extra effort I'm putting into the job. It could have been a one person show. They didn't have an exact number of how many RAs they needed, how many RAs they wanted, because they didn't know how many, they still don't know. It's, it's like August 8th or 7th and they still don't know how many residents they're gonna have therefore don't know how many RAs they can hire or how many buildings are open so there was just too much up in the air for me and even though I applied I eventually revoked my application and told them that I wouldn't be accepting the position or taking the interview because I thought what was best for me is to get an apartment and guys I came into college planning to be an RA for three years save money and then save the money I saved put towards an apartment once I graduated that's always been the dream that's always been the plan but I was like, you know what, everything happens for a reason, seize the moment, you can do this. Luckily, I saved very well in my job this past year, so I have a little bit of room to do this. So very thankful. Shout out to myself. Honestly, Kenna, you did the right thing. And I'm excited for this adventure, but basically, like, I'm ecstatic. I, guys, I live on the Upper East Side. I never in my life thought my first apartment would be in Manhattan on the Upper East Side my senior year of college like this was just not in the picture not in the plan like who is she so basically I've been ecstatic I've been ear to ear I've been smiling non-stop for the past two weeks backtrack on the timeline it all happened so fast I got that email July 16th I was coming to move my belongings out of the dorms July 25th and Maddie and I started looking for apartments the Monday before the Friday I left and that Thursday before I left I decided that I needed to stay in New York and help her look for places because it's a lot of work to do on your own. And if I'm gonna be sp spending thousands of dollars to live somewhere, I would love to see it before I sign my name on a contract. So I made the decision Thursday night before I left Friday <laughs> that I would be staying in New York and most likely not coming home. Part of me was sad about it because I didn't get the whole like goodbyes or whatever, but this is life and all my friends are so supportive and they're so happy for me and they know this is like what's best for me now, so I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for my parents, especially my dad who helped me move. Guys, I live on a six story walk up <laughs> and I had 30 boxes from the dorms plus like a couple of pieces of furniture that we got for the common area. So bless up to my dad. I am so thankful for you and I love him so much. He's, he's so funny. We had such a great time driving up and just like spending that time with him and he called me today just to check in and see how I was doing and so thankful for that. I obviously love my mom too and she's been super helpful. Like I've never done this before, you know? I call her and ask her like, is this how I do it? And like, am I doing it the right way, you know? So also them being so willing and cooperative and like helping me with the apartment finding process. And I can do a whole video on that. I was gonna put it in this, but this is already like pretty long as is. 
but that's my story. I am so excited. I'm so ecstatic. I hope you love the place. Obviously, we all know decoration is most important to me, so I'll be doing like a completely decorated probably in like a month or so. Like, I'm gonna give myself time. It's good right now and it is really chic, but like, I want every detail to be perfect because we know, we know how I am about decorations, you know? I am so thankful for your support. I know you guys will love this, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if this was a ramble. Clearly, I'm super happy and super excited, and there's gonna be so much fun New York content for you guys. Like, who knew if I would be back? I didn't. Like, I could have been in North Carolina the whole time. So, love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yay!